Is this thing on? Is it on? Right. Hi. My name's Bevan. Let me tell you a bit about myself. I've got a pig dog. I sleep with an army knife. And I once cut my own arm off for a day. Today, we're here in Bertie's garden. Bertie's forest garden. And we're going to be looking for some dangerous... Uh, sorry. Dangerous animals. Animals and plant species. I'm going to tell you a bit more about this. Right, follow me. First up, first up, we've got grass. This is such an unbelievable species, specimen. Better known by its scientific name, uh, Gracias Muchachos. Let me give you another interesting fact about grass. Every year, millions of blades of grass get tr trampled on by human feet, car wheels, paws, and even hoofs. And the other million blades of grass that don't get trampled on, they just wither and die in any way. Right, let's move on. I'm very excited about, about this grass. It's amazing. Let's move on. Oh, look, in the distance. Just, just hold your distance. The infamous puma. Can you see? I'm gonna, I'm gonna sneak up into this puma and I'm gonna see if I, if I can maybe pet him. All right, just follow me, slowly. Watch your, watch your steps. Looks like they sleep. Looks like they sleep. What we have here is a great infamous puma. It's such an amazing, amazing animal. Specimen. Ah. You used to see seeing these on the street. The streets. Oh my son. Yeah, we used to see, seeing these on the street, a very trendy animal. You can see them on the sidewalks, in malls, anywhere. So that's a puma. Let's, let's just leave them there. So he won't disturb the rest in the natural habitat. habitat. Oh my sack. What do we have there? It's the garden snake. Now this fella is a very dangerous, very, very dangerous animal. I'm going to attempt to grab it. You have to gra grab it behind its head, otherwise it might just attack you, bite you. So just keep your distance. Stand back. This one's a bit feisty. Got him! Got him! All right. Come closer. Come closer to the snake. All right, this pesky fella. He is very, very well known for spraying this weird kind of moist, moisture out of his mouth. This moisture can make plants grow. That is amazing. These are one of the most incredible animals I've met, came across in my whole life. When it sprays this moisture across the grass, across the plants, across the, the flowers, it actually makes them grow. Very, very, very interesting specimen. Slangius pungnaticus. Scientific name. Right. Let me just leave this fella here. Stand back. Stand back so it doesn't jump here. He's going to put his head down. So, so always put the head pointing away from you. So it doesn't attack. Use your head. It doesn't attack you. When you, when you walk away, bite you on, bite you on the ankle. Pounce on your ankles. You don't want that. Might be poisonous. Right, here you go, little fella. Here you go. Hang on. You're alright, you're alright. Right. Oh, in the distance. That, that is one of my favourite animals. The giraffe. Just look, look how it grazes. Look how it grazes in between the trees. Such a peaceful animal, standing, standing still. It's almost like it's made out of wood. It's so calm, so, so peaceful. We'll just leave him, leave him there. Well, he apparently packs quite a nice, or quite a dangerous head, but we don't want that. Whew. I'm so excited. Let's see if we can find any more animals in the Purchase Garden. Oh, there, there we have. A shovel. Oh, okay, I'm gonna have to 
to sneak up upon this one as well. Uh, it's a pretty dangerous animal. I can't, can't say any more about it. Let's just go. Don't worry, fella. You all right? You all right, mate? I won't hurt you. Let me come a bit closer. All right, all right. As you can see, this is quite a beautiful, beautiful animal. Very rusty, rusty color. Got a, normally sometimes it has a wooden handle, but today this one's a very particular, particular species with the plastic handle. Now shovels are used for various task, tasks. You can get, dig graves with shovels, you can garden with the sho <laughs> shovels, you can even pick up turds with the shovel, like we just did now. So I'm just going to leave this pesky fella right here. We're going to move along, see if we can find more animals. Now, before we move on, we're going to move to the dam. Now I've been hunting this animal my whole life. I've never actually seen one in real life. But the animal's called a barracuda. And I think today might be my lucky day finding a barracuda in this specific dam. Now if I find it, I want you to stand back because this, this, this might just actually be deadly. All right, so just follow me, keep quiet, watch your footsteps, and we'll see if we can find this, this uh, barracuda. All right, there's one, all right. You can just zoom in there. There he is. He looks peaceful underwater, but he's almost like a crocodile. When he's out of the water, he can attack, uh, attack you, he can kill you, he even gobbles up leaves, sand, bark, little animals on the bottom of the, 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 the dam, the water, the river. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to attempt to catch this barracuda today. For the first time in history, get this barracuda on live video footage. Alright, so just stand back. You have to be very careful, I'm very nervous about this. You have to catch it behind that big finger up behind its head. Because otherwise, if you get it too close to its head, it might just suck you in like an octopus. So you have to catch it behind its head, keep its head away from you. Oh, I've got it! I've got it! This barracuda, this is amazing! I'm so excited! I believe my teeth! This is amazing! I found this barracuda today! This marks the greatest day in history! So, on that note, welcome to nightlife!